what's the deal? It's your boy Original Dion, and you know I'm just on YouTube, and I'm I just wanted to share this little video with y'all. Tyler Perry just built the biggest movie studio, bigger than Disney, bigger than Paramount, the biggest movie studio in Atlanta over an old Confederate army base. Now I just watched this whole interview he had with Gail King. And it's motivating, man. Like, I don't watch a lot of Tyler Perry movies. Like, the last one I probably saw for real was, like, The Diary of a Mad Black Woman. That was a real good movie. But the, the story, like, how he, he used to sleep in his car and, like, at 28, how he got started, you know, making all that, doing all them plays and shit. And it was just real motivating, you know what I'm saying? And just the fact that, you know, he was saying, like, basically how the tables turn like the same land where slaves built and you know where uh people were confederate army man they was plotting and you know how to keep black people enslaved and shit you know you got a black man that built an entire movie theater you know what i'm saying the biggest movie theater like out of all hollywood you know what i'm saying and he was also talking about like hollywood ignore him and shit but I'm talking about the premiere look. It was star study. It was none but black actors, like all these successful black actors. And then it's a lot of symbolism. Like he named every, like I think it's I think it's twelve. They said over twelve movie different movie studios on site, but he named every one after a you know a powerful black actor that was in Hollywood. So you know it's just the, it's the symbolism too he took with. You know, where he picked it at, it's, it's in Atlanta, too. You know what I'm saying? In the hood, like, if you ever been to West End, Atlanta, that's, like, where it's at, like, in that area. You know what I'm saying? But he got so many acres over there. It's, like, the biggest movie studio ever. But shout out to Tyler Perry, man. This a, is a good look. You know what I'm saying? Just just to see that, like, open my mind up. Like, man, I could, I just got to think bigger, too. Like, cause he was saying the same thing, like, when he seen Oprah, you know, he said he was invited to, like, one of Oprah's early events, and, you know, he just, it just sparked his imagination, and me seeing that just sparked my imagination, like, I gotta think bigger, like, for my brand and what I can do, because, you know, I can't, I'm, like, just imagine, like, a person, like, <clears throat> imagine not having nothing. And you got to sleep in your car and you still got to motivate yourself. You still got to talk. You still got to use that voice in your head. And you still got to mentally, you know what I'm saying, prepare yourself to go out here and achieve something like that. I mean, he probably didn't plan that exactly, but just to just to come to that. You know what I'm saying? Just to just to reach that point from where you was at, man. That junk is inspiring. And it always motivate me to see, you know, any human but uh, definitely, like, a black brother, like, with everything they put against us in this world just to see that. So, shout out to Tyler Perry, man. Uh, it's your boy, Yon Ward. I just wanted to make this quick little video, man. Like, check out that interview if y'all had time. But it was just inspiring. Like, it make me, you know, want to work harder. It make me want to be more creative and, you know, do something more, like, you know, it made me just want to do more. But it's your boy, Young World. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.